Hello everyone, the Aggie here. Welcome back to another review video. Today I'm coming at you guys with a review on the very awful, horrible, very very disappointing Spirit A320. Um, this was in the May release and I gotta say this is very disappointing. Um, it's not broken but the mold is just messed up. So if you all are thinking about getting this model, just don't. Wait for the Airbus A321 or the Airbus A320 with the colors that they have now. So, as always, we'll start off with the box, review the model, give you guys my personal opinion, and then announcements at the end of this video as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So there's nothing really wrong with the box. Um, you got the typical Gemma Jets box with the white background instead of the navy blue. Um, John Jets made four collectors by collectors. Got the computer generated version of the model up front. Seems like there's nothing wrong there. Um, Spirit Airbus A320. Got the open on the side. Yep, some information. Air up on the side once again. Sorry, my camera won't focus. Some more information on the back. You got the airplane climbing on the back. John Jets, as real as it gets. Um, it's not licensed at all. Kind of interesting. Open the cover. All your specs as usual. Um, Spirit, Airbus 320 Y'all can pause the video for the specs. But that is, that's pretty much it for the box. So as we go through this review video, I will be showing you guys what I'm very disappointed about and what went wrong with the mold and what Gemma Jets could have done better and what carelessness they have just didn't really care about this model with. So we'll start front as always. So first you got your cockpit windows, nose cone line, got a couple stack ports right here. You have your L1 boarding door, very detailed. You have weather antenna up here. And then down here, you have your nose gear, very detailed. It does roll, which is pretty cool. Um, something that they didn't do very well on, in the molding process was that they did not finish the landing gear door and they didn't put the registration ditch on there for identification. So there's a mess up there. And then you have your windows throughout here, and then you have a couple of stack ports here, 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 and then you have your spirit titles, two over the wing escape doors, over the wing escape arrows, you have your engine, home of the bear fair, they could have done a little bit better job with uh, putting details on this engine, especially since it's kind of scuffed up. And then, probably the most disappointing part about this model is the winglet. I have no idea what happened there. It, it's just bent. But it reads spirit.com, and then on the inside of it, it reads howdy. Same thing on the other side. And then you, you have your windows, and then you have your rear door. Registration number 642, number kilo along with the American flag. You have your spirit, vertical tail, horizontal tail, and you have a little vent right here and your APU exhaust. Flip them over to the other side. Same thing as always, you have your cockpit windows, nose cone, nose cone line, coal stack ports right here, um, Airbus or Airbus A320. Um, huge paint. Um, Smudge right here, probably from the spirit titles, and they just took a paintbrush and carried it over. So there's a flaw by Jenna Jets. And this was all done by the factory. None of this happened in shipping or anywhere. This was all by Jenna Jets. Um, you have your front door. This is also very detailed. And then, actually, on this side, you actually have part of the part of the registration digits six, four, but not the two. And then you, you have some stack port right here, and then you have your front cargo door along with all the instructions. That is very detailed. 
And you have your leading edge light right here. I believe that there was one on the other side, I just forgot to mention it. Now this engine looks a little bit better compared to the other side. This is probably what it should look like. And then two oiling escape hatches, the arrows, spirit titles, and this winglet is also somewhat bent, not as bad as the other one, but still is very disappointing. Now you have your rear cargo door here, and this line right, right here doesn't really line up with this line here, so that's kind of disappointing, but it is very detailed with the instructions and the lever. You have your bulkhead door, and you got a vent here and here on the side, and on the slash bottom. You have your rear door, this is also very detailed. Registration once again, number 642, number of kilo. American flag, weather antenna, and then you have your spirit, vertical tail, and your horizontal tail. Taking a look at the front, you have your cockpit windows, nose cone, nose cone line. Um, like I said, the nose gear does roll, which is sweet. Um, you have your top of the engines. You have your red navigation light, you can barely see it. But you have the slats up front, leading the edge. Same thing on the other side, green navigation light, bent wing light. Leaning edge, top of the engine. Um, you have a weather antenna right here. And moving up, you have your slats, flaps, spoilers, ailerons, as you can see here on both sides. Fairly detailed. Um, you have your rotating beacon here, some antenna here, another weather antenna, another weather antenna right here doors on the side, and your vertical and horizontal tail. Flipping over to the bottom, um, you have your nose cone, nose cone line, a couple PO tubes right here, um, nose gear door. Something that I do like about this model is that they did, I don't know if you can see it or not, but they did indent the landing gear doors on this model, which is pretty cool. Never seen that done before. Um, you have some red line here, nose gear, got a couple stack ports on the side here and there, cargo door on the side, and then you have your wing area. You have two ram air intakes here and here, some red outline here, couple vents there and there, stand hole, rotating beacon. And uh, I don't know what happened to the engines, but I don't know if this is supposed to be here or not, but I believe that these are paint scratches on both sides. Don't ask me how they got there, but they're there. This was also the last Spirit I had. Uh, I've actually had two of these now, because the first one, the both engines actually broke off, and it still had the same scratches on there, so I'm not sure what happened, but the rear wheels do roll. And here's the, you can see it here, the gear doors are indented, which is pretty cool. Club vents right here. Um, bottom of the wings. Jenna Jets logo. Cargo door on the side. And you can see that this line right here does not match up with the other lines. You got a couple vents on the bottom here as well. And then you have your APU access door. But that is pretty much it for this model. And like I said, I did get two of these because the first one broke. This is my second one and it's still bad. And it's just not a very good model. I would highly recommend not to get it. So, well, I kind of already told you my personal opinion about it. But let's go ahead and get to the announcements and my personal opinion about this model. So in my opinion, this is a very disappointing model. This is probably the worst model I've ever received from Jelena Jets and I would highly recommend not to get it. It is just, like I said, the worst model I've ever received. So if you're on the fence about thinking about, thinking about buying this model, don't. It's awful. And I don't know who was in charge of making this model or inspecting it, but whoever it was did not do a very good job at all. Like the winglets are bent, I don't know how that got past inspection or the molding process, the scratches on the engines, and the paint smudges on the side, or scratches. So. 
if you did order this model and your aircraft or slash model did have those defects to it, let me know in the comments below. I'm wondering if this was a huge, every model that they produced had the bent winglets and everything, or if it was just a few of them. So let me know about that in the comments below. And on the quality scale, I would give this model a 2 out of 10, which is pretty bad. So like I said, I would highly recommend not to get it. I will be returning this model because it's not worth the money. And it won't be worth the money for you guys to get this model. So, a few announcements to make. I did get the four models that I wanted in the May release, which was the Spirit A320, the Alaska 737 800, and the new 2016 livery, which is sweet. Love the new livery. And the Delta A321 and the American 737-800 with the TW Retro livery. So I will be doing reviews on those models along with the Alaska 737-800 in the old livery with the lay on the tail and the Horizon CRJ-700 and the Delta 737-800 as well. So stay tuned for those reviews. Another announcement is that I'm almost done with my airport. I'll have to put three or four more jetways on and then I will be doing airport updates both subscriber routes and just you know normal routes Denver to Salt Lake or Denver to Phoenix or whatever so that video will be coming out here soon but I will be going on a huge summer vacation here soon I will be gone pretty much the entire month of July so I will not have time to work at my airport but I will hopefully continue to bring you guys videos on my, re on my reviews and other stuff as well an announcement is that I am now part of the Global Airport Alliance, which is a very cool, it's a bunch of model airport builders and collectors combining into one website to um, interact with each other and um, have airport routes interconnect with each other. So, for instance, like since my airport is now called Colorado Gateway to the Rockies International Airport, um, I'll say, you know, this. Alaska 737-800 will be going to John the Jets 1975's airport, which by the way he has an awesome channel, check him out. And uh, But it's just awesome, you know, different airports, they have different names, and you just send your airplane to somebody's airport by route, and you just, it's, it's cool. I will put that link down below so you guys can join if you guys would like, but it's just awesome. So, as always, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video, thanks for watching.